So for breakfast this morning, I've been making this uh, protein smoothie that I thought I would share with you guys because I've mentioned this before. Um, it's just a third of a banana, some ice, and some of my fresh soy milk. I swear that's a game changer, the soy milk that I've been making. Really makes it nice and creamy. And I can't believe how this just doesn't separate out. Anyways, and um, I just add some um, protein powder. No, it's not sponsored by Four Sigmatic, um, but their protein powder is pretty good plant-based and then I just add a teaspoon of this blue butterfly pea flower powder that I got on um, iHerb. This stuff is really good. It has a subtle um, taste to it. It mostly just makes stuff vibrant but I've really been enjoying it. I think it has, I don't know, antioxidants in it. Let's be honest. I bought it because of the color and then I just topped it with some cacao nibs, sunflower seeds, and a little bit of unsweetened shredded coconut so yeah that's what i'm having this morning well hey guys what's up it is the end of the day and i'm headed out to run errands as per usual i cannot believe how fast this week has gone by it is it seems like just two seconds ago it was monday and now it's already almost friday Woohoo! weekend did you guys have a good week this neighborhood people park on the street and I think they do it because my understanding is a lot of the houses have garage apartments and they rent out the garage so they park on the street but it makes it really difficult to navigate the streets like it's a two-way street but there's so many cars parked on the street that is basically a one-way street <laughs> and so you kind of have to guesstimate when somebody's coming your direction yeah, they do it because of that or <clears throat> because uh, their car doesn't fit in their garage. I think, too, a lot of people in, in Houston, in particular, Texas, use their garage for storage because the homes don't have basements in, in Houston. So they end up parking on the street. Or they have multiple cars and they don't want to block in their, their significant other. But, yeah. I would be worried, though, because I would be worried to park my... Especially these cars around here, they have, like seem to be you know on the pricier end I'd be nervous to park my car on the street that somebody would ding it it seems risky so I don't know I always get nervous around them I'm gonna, I'm gonna swipe the car accidentally yeah people will just like blaze through this neighborhood too as though it were you know the interstate it's like it's a residential area people go slowly but it's a, despite it being hot, it's a nice day. Oh, speaking of residential area, you guys, I feel so bad. This house up here, some little, some little uh, miscreant uh, teepeed the, the yard. <laughs> that is not funny. Uh, what a mess. Putting toilet paper in the, uh, in the tree. I remember when I was a youngster, one of the uh, pranks that you could play on somebody was to fork their lawn, put forks in their lawn. It's called forking the lawn. <laughs> um, like plastic forks. It's just a pain in the neck to have to pick that up. But now you see all these crazy, crazy challenges on social media. It's kind of terrifying some of the things people do. Like um, I saw, there's one where they like spray aerosol onto their skin and basically give themselves a burn. It's like, please don't do that. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> I just got over here to uh, Costco and I'm applying a little lip SPF before I buzz in. Hopefully it's not too crowded. Now that summer is upon us and school is out, I find that it tends to be more crowded. Oh, speaking of children, that girl behind me I won't show her because I don't like to show kids. Um, she got one of those uh, acai bowls. I got in the Ninja Foodie. I remember Aaron Williams got this thing last year. And it's like a Kosari air fryer all in one. It's a pressure cooker, an air fryer, and crisper. I don't know. I love my Kosari multi cooker. I use that thing every day in my air fryer. I'm just a. I'm just a uh, appliance junkie. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I saw in the parking lot a 
Costco catastrophe. There was a man who was loading up his car, his um, trunk. Coming over here. And there's not a lot of people. Um, he was loading up his uh, groceries into his, the trunk of his car and he dropped a massive Costco bottle of olive oil in the parking lot and it shattered. Oh, I felt so bad for him. <laughs> this is really hot out. I can only really imagine all that trying to pick up the glass and the oil. Fortunately, there were a lot of people in the parking lot attendants that were helping him. So, oh, God. what a disaster. <laughs> Got this bunch of balloons, looks like a lot of fun. Speaking of kids playing pranks, water balloons are a blast. I feel as though, didn't Graveyard Girl do this a long, long time ago, review that? I feel like she did. This looks like fun. Oh, update on the Jane and Blinker, Blinker uh, reversible tanks that I got last week. They're really nice, they're really comfortable. These are the little sleepy shorts that you can get, but I don't really need those. Yummy, scoop neck shaping, shaping tank. Oh, these are new. $18.99, boy, that's kind of pricey for Costco, for two. See, I love the Felina camisoles, but I like the, just the tanks, um, but they're, they're really good quality. Everything Felina is wonderful. Ah, gracias a Dios. The rice cauliflower is back in stock. They were out of it. Totally. Put a cramp in my lifestyle. <laughs> Reunited and it feels so good. You saw me rejoicing the return of the riced cauliflower from Costco. So I went ahead and stocked up on not one, but two of the jumbo four one pound bag bags of the rice cauliflower. I love this stuff and I go through it fairly quickly and in case they, in case they run out of it next week, I've got a backup bag. I of course got my bag of spinach um, and then I went ahead and got the almonds from Costco. It's a pretty good deal. It is what, like three pounds. I can't remember how much this cost exactly, but there are roughly 45 servings in here. So that will make a lot of almond milk, that's for sure. They also have organic almonds. I thought about getting those just to, I don't know, be fancy, but I decided not to. Someone asked me if I ever shared or made a video showing like or talking about what I buy organic versus not. And to be frank, I put zero thought into it. I just buy stuff. And a lot of the, t oftentimes it happens to be organic, other times it's not. My head hurts when I think about the arguments for organic versus not. And so I just remove that from my, from my thought process and I just go with, with what there is available. And a lot of times I do buy organic just because that's, Costco has a lot of organic food. But anyways, I mix it up. Um, so I got two more of these candy delicious golden honeydew melons. They are delicious. Oh my goodness. I have had some bad honeydew in my day. I mean, I, I, I rarely ever enjoy honeydew melon. This is an exception. So juicy, so delicious. I went ahead and got two this week. That's how much I liked it. Honeydew can be, honeydew and cantaloupe, like isn't that the saddest fruit cup when that's offered to you in a restaurant? It's like this insipid honeydew cantaloupe mambo combo and they'll put like two pathetic grapes in there and they'll charge you like $9 for a fruit cup and you're like, stop. Anyways, Savoy is here, of course, two heads. I got more chayote squash. I have that kind of stack there like a Jenga game. That's gonna be precarious. Um, got some more parsnips, um, and then this is my favorite little uh, splurgy doodle of uh, salad mix. I call it splurgy doodle because it's obviously much more cost effective and environmentally conscientious, and the better thing to do to buy the heads of the individual items and chop them yourselves, yourself, but <laughs> I'm being lazy, and so this is a little a little cheaty, but I enjoy, I enjoy iceberg from time to time. So I'm gonna have that tonight for dinner. And other things, not just a bag of iceberg, to clarify. Four bags of radishes, three onions, oh, the kumquats. 
I love these, but I have to be careful. They make my lips swell quite a bit. Um, you may like that effect, but it's probably not great for the skin of the lips to be that irritated. But sometimes I will eat these and then I'll look at myself in the mirror and I'll be like, whoa, what just happened to my lips? But they're very good. Um, and somebody asked me, do I just eat them plain with the skins? Yes. They're a mixture of tart, sour, and sweet all in one little delicious, fun packed burst. I got two cans of no salt added diced tomatoes. I enjoy using this in soups um, with, um, it, it, it tastes really good actually with the turnips to be honest. Turnips and tomatoes and veggies, very good combination. I've never had Betty Lou's, <laughs> sweet Betty Lou. Um, organic, is this organic powdered peanut butter? I, I've had PB2 and all of the other ones, but I've never had this one. It happens to be on sale. I enjoy using this stuff. It all tastes the same to me, um, and I would be so surprised if this was substantially different from any other reduced fat powdered peanut butter I've ever had. Uh, and then <laughs> I got sucked into these. I was largely tempted by the packaging. Sun made. Your girl, the Raisin Maid, has gone wild this summer, and she's come out with watermelon raisins, these sour raisin snacks. I bet they taste nothing like watermelon. I mean, maybe they do. It's golden raisins. I was initially like, oh, this is just going to be some junky fruit snack with a few pathetic raisins thrown in to, um, you know, sneak that in. I thought it was going to be like that, like gushers or something, but no, it's just golden raisins and like fruit juices that the raisins are sweetened with. I don't know how that's gonna go, but I love sour things, so I'm really optimistic on these. Um, stay tuned. Oh, speaking of dried fruits that I'm excited about, remember in my eye herb haul, I shared with you the Wilderness Poets dried cranberries that miraculously do not have added sugar. They're just sweetened with apple juice. apple juice. If you were curious, oh yes, they are amazing. They are the way cranberries should be consumed if you're eating them dry. They are so luscious, so delicious. I highly recommend them. Um, I got some more decaf sticks for my late afternoon. Ugh, I want a coffee, but I'm cut off. And I'm out of my, I just finished up that delicious co creamy coconut candle from Tuscany. And I gave this a whiff last week and was in love. So I went ahead and got it. It's uh, their soy blend island nectar. This is really good. It's much better than Caribbean Breeze on first whiff, so I highly recommend them. But yeah, that is everything I got grocery-wise this week. Hanging on strong, eggplant. Eggplant has put out a new little uh, golden spurtle there. <laughs> it's a uh, Bob's Red Mill inside joke. Oh gosh. Yes, if you are new here, several, a year or so ago, I got sucked into the uh, Bob's Red Mill Quick Cook Steel Cut Oats from Costco, the massive size. Actually, it wasn't me, it was my mom, and they're terrible. And on the label, it says something like, made with the golden spurtle. Um, they're awful. I mean, they're probably the worst hot breakfast cereal you could ever have. I mean, they just ruin oats. They're terrible. But I, I'm one of those people, I don't like things to go to waste, so I finished it and it took me forever to get through it and then it was like a victory when I finally did. But whenever I read, when I saw go Golden Spurtle, this, this kind of, I don't know, speaks to the Spurtle. <laughs> I have an airplane going overhead. Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed the vlog today. It's getting steamier and steamier. I think it's gonna cool down. We might get some rain. That's always a welcome change. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.